Hello, in this video we're going to do a little macroeconomics looking at some identities among private saving, national saving, public saving, investment, and the real interest rate. <clears throat> we'll start with a closed economy, so there are no exports or imports. In a closed economy, Y, GDP equals C, consumption, plus I, investment, plus G, government purchases. Uh, let's assume that we're given the following values. Uh, GDP is 10,000. C, consumption is 7,000. Here we have an investment function, 2,000 minus 200R, where R is the real interest rate. G is government expenditures of 2,000. And T is taxes, or some might call it net taxes, and that equals 1,000. We want to find the real interest rate, the level of investment, national saving, public saving, and private saving. And so I'm giving you the equations for national saving, public saving, and private saving. Also note down here, national saving will equal investment in equilibrium, and investment or national saving is equal to public saving plus private saving. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute everything that we know into our closed economy expression. So Y is 10,000, C is 7,000, I is 2,000 minus 200R, and G is 2,000. We got one equation and one unknown, so we're going to just solve this for R, the real interest rate. So 10,000 equals 11,000 minus 200R, subtracting 11,000 from both sides, then canceling the minus signs out on both sides. R, the real interest rate, equals 5, which represents 5%. To find the level of investment spending in equilibrium, take this 5 and plug it into the investment function. So the total level of investment spending is 1,000. We can simply find national saving right now by saying national saving equals investment. So if investment is 1,000, national saving is 1,000. We could alternatively back into national saving as y minus c minus g. Doing that, we get 1,000. Uh, to find public saving, just taxes minus government expenditures, minus 1,000. To find private saving, y minus t minus c, and that equals 2,000. So 2,000 for private saving. And over here, I'm just going to add up public saving and private saving to show us another way of deriving national saving. And we get 1,000 for that. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.